हेलो लर्नर्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन सब्जेक्ट हीट एंड मास ट्रांसफर इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बेसिक एंड टाइप्स ऑफ हीट एक्सचेंजर हीट एक्सचेंजर इज अ डिवाइस यूज टू ट्रांसफर हीट बिटवीन टू और मोर फ्लूड्स एट डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर लेट अस कंसिडर दैट वन फ्लूड विच इज हैविंग हाई टेम्परेचर वी कॉल्ड इट एज अ हॉट फ्लूड and another fluid which is having low temperature is called as cold fluid in this diagram we can see there are two fluids one is known as a hot fluid which is entering through this tube and another is known as a cold fluid which is passing through this shell so heat exchanger is a device used to transfer heat from a hot fluid to the cold fluid they are widely used in space heating refrigeration air conditioning power stations and chemical plants now let us see the types and classification of a heat exchanger heat exchangers classified according to the different criteria the criteria number 1 is known as a heat exchangers classified according to the nature of heat exchange process number 1 is called as a direct mixing type in this type of heat exchanger fluid mix and reach to a common temperature see the diagram here we can we are observing direct contact or open heat exchanger in which the steam coming through the steam power plant is directly mixed with the cold water and we know that when the two fluid mix with each other they will attain the equilibrium temperature or common temperature after this process the steam is converted into warm water and whatever the non condensable bleeds are there which are taken out in the other direction this type of heat exchangers are rarely used examples are water cooling towers and jet condenser in steam power plants another is known as a indirect mixing time in previous type we have seen that the both fluids that is hot fluid and cold fluid mix with each other directly in indirect type of mixing here hot and cold fluid do not mix with each other number 1 is known as a regenerator in a regenerator type of heat exchanger hot and cold fluid pass alternatively through a space containing solid particles or matrix it means hot and cold fluid pass through the same passage but alternatively means they do not mix with each other example ic engine in a gas turbine or air heater in a blast furnace another type is known as a recuperator recuperator is the most important type of heat exchanger in which the fluid flowing in this heat exchanger is divided by a wall which is in the form of pipe or a tube in this diagram we have observed that the hot fluid is passing through the tube and cold fluid is passing over the tube it means both fluids are separated by the tube wall this is the example of recuperator there are some more examples like automobile radiator oil cooler milk chillers evaporators in the ice plant all these are the examples of the recuperator now the second classification criteria is according to the relative direction of motion of the fluid means how the hot and cold fluid moves according to that direction heat exchangers are classified number 1 is known as a parallel flow arrangement in parallel flow arrangement hot and cold fluid enters and flow in the same direction and leaves in the same end let us see the diagram a in this heat exchanger both hot as well as cold fluids are moving from left to right th1 is the inlet temperature of hot fluid th2 is the outlet temperature of the hot fluid tc1 is the inlet temperature of cold fluid and tc2 is the outlet temperature of the cold fluid a graph is plotted along temperature versus length of the heat exchanger in this diagram we can see the hot temperature is hot fluid is losing the heat so its temperature is decreasing and in the same direction the temperature of cold fluid is increasing so this is known as a parallel flow heat exchanger second is known as a counter flow heat exchanger as the name itself indicate both the fluid hot and cold fluid flows in the opposite direction here you can see hot fluid is moving from left to right direction and cold fluid is moving from right to left direction in this graph you can observe the direction of the arrow that is hot fluid temperature is decreasing and cold fluid temperature is increasing but in the opposite direction 
नेक्स्ट इज नोन एज अ क्रॉस फ्लो हीट एक्सचेंजर इन क्रॉस फ्लो हीट एक्सचेंजर वन फ्लूड फ्लोज ओवर द ट्यूब्स एंड सेकेंड फ्लूड पास अराउंड द ट्यूब्स परपेंडिकुलरली हियर यू कैन ऑब्जर्व द हॉट फ्लूड इज पासिंग थ्रू द ट्यूब्स एंड कोल्ड फ्लूड मूविंग परपेंडिकुलर डायरेक्शन अबाउ दीज ट्यूब्स दिस टाइप ऑफ हीट एक्सचेंज आर यूज इन रेफ्रिजरेटर एज अ कंडेन्सर नेक्स्ट इज अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिजाइन एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन फीचर्स मीन्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिजाइन ऑफ द हीट एक्सचेंजर दे आर क्लासिफाइड एज शेल एंड ट्यूब टाइप हीट एक्सचेंजर इन दिस सिस्टम वन ऑफ द फ्लूड पास थ्रू द बंडल्स ऑफ ट्यूब इनक्लोज बाय द शेल अदर फ्लूड पास थ्रू द शेल एंड इट फ्लोज ओवर द सर्फेस ऑफ द ट्यूब इफ यू सी दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री मेन पार्ट्स नंबर वन इज नोन एज ट्यूब्स यू कैन सी देर आर नंबर ऑफ ट्यूब्स वन टू थ्री फोर these tubes are enclosed in a shell so this is known as a shell and tube type heat exchanger another part is shown as a baffle plates you can see these baffle plates guides the flow of a fluid here the cold fluid flow is controlled by the motion and the arrangement of the baffle so this is known as a shell and tube type heat exchanger next is known as a concentric tube heat exchanger concentric tube means the tubes of having same center or axis so this is known as a concentric tube heat exchanger in this system fluid passes through the concentric tube here you can observe there are two tubes one is having a small diameter through which cold fluid is passing and another tube of having large diameter through which hot fluid is passing next is known as a compact heat exchanger in compact heat exchanger it is characterized by a high heat transfer surface area to volume means in this heat exchanger the surface area is more but the volume is less and high heat transfer coefficient it means here the heat transfer rate is more as compared to the other heat exchanger so there are some examples of this compact heat exchanger that is fin and tube type fin and tube circular tube flat tubes these are the different shapes of the tubes now next criteria is according to the physical state of the fluid physical state means the fluid may be either liquid state may be either solid state or may be in the vapor state let us see the first example is a condenser in condenser hot fluid remains at constant temperature and loses latent heat which in turn vapor is condensed to the liquid state here you can see if we plot a graph of temperature versus length of the heat exchanger the hot fluid temperature remains constant that is th1 is equal to th2 it means the temperature do not change but the vapor refrigerant is condensed to the liquid and whatever the latent heat is lost by this hot fluid is absorbed by this cold fluid it means the temperature of the cold fluid is increased from tc1 to tc2 it is very important in evaporator actually evaporator is opposite to that of condenser in condenser the temperature of hot fluid remains constant but in case of evaporator temperature of cold fluid remains constant in evaporator cold fluid remains at constant temperature and absorb the latent heat which in turn liquid get converted into vapor state here you can observe whatever the heat is lost by the hot fluid which is shown by the decreasing value it is absorbed by the cold fluid but the temperature is constant it means the liquid coolant get converted into vapor state so this is known as a evaporator thank you